Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Uh, just a little short video. I had a fella on that's a brand new ham, just got his license, uh, kind of requests this from me. So I'm going to do a quick video if you've just gotten in the hobby and you ran out and bought one of these uh, handheld radios and you're driving around in your car and you can't figure out why you can't hit repeaters that are not too far away well you're sitting inside of a Faraday cage when you're riding around in your car with all that metal around you and this little handheld uh, radio antenna is trying to transmit through the car so First thing you've got to do is uh, kind of watch one of my previous videos where I showed you how to attach uh, a little mag mount to the roof of the car, run the wire inside, buy a little adapter uh, that will permit you to connect the coax, the big coax, uh, PL259 connector, to this little SMA connector right here. There's a little adapter wire with two little plugs on it that lets you uh, attach it. So if you'll do that, uh, you'll get, you know, a better uh, reach on this little uh, five watt handy talkie because your antenna will be outside the car now. <clears throat> Now, the ultimate solution is to only use this when you're walking around at some kind of a bicycle event or balloon event where you might be called out or some kind of weather event where you might be outside, uh, not necessarily in your car because uh, you really shouldn't use these uh, for any kind of real emergency communication like a weather event uh, because you might not be getting out as well as you could with a regular mobile rig in your car. So uh, I consider them to be the toys of ham radio. That's what I call them. I've got three of them back there and I use them from time to time if I'm out walking around somewhere or maybe at a local fairground where we're having the annual fair and I'm just walking around on the fairground wanting to be able to uh, answer any communications coming in uh, over the repeater. Something like that or a bicycle event, a rally where you're working a rest stop or something like that. These are fun. But for uh, real amateur radio uh, use, you should step out there and buy yourself a regular mobile radio. So let's switch over to the uh, computer, and I'll give the newer hands my recommendation for uh, some radios. Uh, one that I'd like to recommend to you is this uh, Kenwood 281A. Now this is strictly a 2 meter radio, but as most of you have probably found out already, most of the repeaters uh, anywhere around are 2 meters. There's going to be some uh, 70 centimeter repeaters around, but there will not be as many of those as there are 2 meter. So if you're uh, money handicapped, uh, then I'd say uh, step out there and get yourself this Kenwood 281A. You can pick it up for, from DX Engineering right now. Uh, for $134, and it puts out 65 watts. Now, <clears throat> if you want to just save up your dimes and nickels and just get a dual bander, then I'm still recommending the uh, Yaesu uh, 7900 uh, as a good dual band, uh, 2 meter, 70 centimeter uh, mobile rig. 
I've been around a while. Uh, as you can see, they're double the price of that Kenwood at about $275. But this will give you the ability to hit all the analog repeaters uh, that may or may not be in your area. Now, you're not going to be able to hit any 220 meg repeaters, but they're far and few between. Or six meter repeaters, you know, there might even be some 10 meter repeaters around. But they are far and few between now. 99% of everything's going to be 2 meter, 70 centimeter uh, in the analog repeaters. Uh, again, we're not talking uh, digital repeaters uh, like DMR repeaters or uh, fusion repeaters. That's a whole nother ball game. We're simply talking the analog repeaters that may be in your area. So anyway, uh, I'd recommend either the Yaesu 7900R, which is this one right here. Let's see if I can get a real big bigger picture. There we go. This is a dual band, so you can work 2 meter, 70 centimeter. Or if you're uh, not interested in 70 centimeter, uh, this Kenwood uh, 281A here is really a good radio. Uh, at a very low price, you know, what did I say? It was $135 right now. Is that what I said? Uh, yeah, 135 bucks right now on DX Engineering. Now, when you get these, you're going to have to have an antenna. So, uh, your first choice may be something like this right here, which is uh, the old style mag mount. Just sticks on the top of the roof of your car, and they usually give you enough coax to where you can run it in through a window and plug it into your radio. <clears throat> then when you get home or whatever you can pull it off the top of the car and uh, if you want to and just store it in the garage or something until you're going to use it again. Anyway, these are uh, dozens of different ones out there. Uh, they're all adjustable by the way. There's a little set screw right about here. I don't know if I can get you a big picture, but right about there, there's a set screw. And you can loosen that up and raise and lower this antenna. Uh, if you have a, a meter, a antenna tuner analyzer that you connect, connect up to this uh, SO2, uh, PL259 here, you can adjust this to get a really low SWR on 2 meter and 70 centimeter. And I would check all of these uh, before you use them just to make sure they're something not higher than 1.5 uh, to 1 SWR. Anything under that would be just fine. So anyway, you can go out there and get you a mag mount. They're not very expensive, $20, $30. And I found you one here on Amazon. But virtually all of the ham radio uh, retailers, wholesalers, uh, have mag mounts that are for sale. You know, here's another one. Uh, $17, you know, you know, I can't really say uh, which one might be better than the other one. I would, I would spend around $20-something, and you'll probably wind up with one that'll work just fine. Now, to get uh, a little more serious, uh, you can go to uh, Diamond Antennas or Comet Antennas. And both of those companies sell very nice uh, mountable dual band antennas for your car or your truck. In, in my case, I'm going to show you the one I'm using. 
on my car. I mounted it uh, in this fashion, just like you see it on this car here, right here. I mounted it in about the same spot as some of the old time FM radio antennas would be mounted on the car. And I'll venture to say uh, on the trunk lid on the uh, left hand side in my case, so it's mounted over here. And I mounted it far enough back on the trunk where if I open the trunk, uh, the antenna will not impact the car. So uh, I can throw the trunk lid open and not worry about the antenna hitting the car or the car roof or anything. Uh, and I did buy this uh, mount right here. It's a K600 series. And as you can see, it mounts on the uh, lip of the trunk very easily. And the wire goes in through the trunk and comes in uh, behind the back seats and is run up to the radio <clears throat> along the uh, door sill where you can't see it or trip over it when you get in the car. Uh, this is, I, I really liked it because it, uh, you can see this little uh, side of the mount is kind of uh, rounded. So when I take the antenna off to go through a car wash, there's nothing there for it to get hooked in the car wash uh, machinery. It's got a real smooth edge to it. It looks really good on the car. It's not very noticeable actually looks like something that came from the factory. So this is the one I'm using. But there are myriad kinds of mounts that Diamond and Comet have on their website. Uh, everything from a luggage rack mount to a uh, front truck rear view mirror mount, you know, to uh, something that you mount in the bed of the truck or on the edge of the truck, if you had a uh, truck uh, on the edge of the bed, on the truck, you know, all kind of mounts. You just need to go out there and find one that will work for you. This was the one I chose so, for my uh, new car. Uh, such a time I trade that car in, I can just simply take this off. There won't be any damage there at all. <laughs> I've already done this with a previous car the same amount and, uh, you know, turn the car in or sell the car or whatever. Mount this on the next car. So, uh, with that said, let me kind of back you up a little bit. And, again, I'd recommend for a 2 meter, a 281A Kenwood. For a dual band, I'd recommend the uh, Yesu 7900 dual band and at least get yourself a uh, mag mount, at least a mag mount uh, to use for both. Let me get you off of this for a second back on my smiling face real quick. At least get you a mag mount if you've got one of these and you're trying to operate this as a mobile rig in the car. Get that antenna outside using a mag mount. But I encourage you, as soon as possible, step out there and buy a regular mag, a regular mobile radio and uh, put it in the car or the truck and get you a regular mobile antenna and mount it onto the car some kind of way and uh, you'll be in much better shape. You'll be able to reach virtually most every one of the repeaters in your area. So with that said, I wish you clear skies. 73, remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Everybody be good. See y'all later.